Hey guys, and welcome to a battle featuring the mighty and legendary Loopy and his Empire forces up against Evan here and the Wood Elves. Two pretty cool uh, kind of opponents against each other. A bit of a classic showdown. Should be some good fun. So let's pop this into slow motion quickly and go through the builds very fast here. So for the forces of the Empire, we do have Marcus Wolfhart, a bit of a fan favourite in this matchup. Very deadly at sniping out opposing kind of squishy targets, Glade Ladies, Glade Lords and the like and pretty decent and nifty as well kind of hard to snipe out because he does of course come with stalk and some pretty good map wide control abilities in the front line we have super cheap and cheerful swordsman dotted all the way along the front lines they do just fine up against kind of dryads and eternal guards they lose the fight but rather slowly allowing the rest of the build to kind of you know, do the serious damage here which we're looking to see on either flank we have some spearmen as well just trying to fend off wild riders and the like and triple huntsman in the center pocket i'm a big fan of these guys up against wood elves mainly because they have stalks so they're kind of hard for way watchers to snipe out and they can do decent damage up against wildwood riders as well as trading relatively effectively against enemy archers in the back line, we do have a bit of a uh, risky situation. We have double Great Cannon, as well as a glorious Hell Blaster Volley Gun. As you can see, an Arrows of Kurnos is coming in now and missing by a significant margin here. Kind of a uh, miles off target there. And in the back line, we have Triple Knight of the Blazing Sun. Fantastic Shot Cav, which are very good at dealing with Wildwood uh, Riders, as well as, you know, pummeling into the front line and pushing over those pesky elves. But as you can see, the Arrows of Kurnos really struggling to connect there as it's having to loop up and over top of these trees. So it uh, looks like the woods are actually betraying the wood elves here. And for their forces, we have a double way stalker in the center pocket. We also have Sisters of Fawn and Wild Riders on the left-hand side. We have Triple Way Watchers, so pretty standard stuff so far. And uh, for the main battle line, we do have Eternal Guards. The whole plan of this build is you move up the Way Stalkers, they snipe, snipe out artillery. You then push forward with the Way Watchers, protect them with the Cav Contingent, and fall back to the Spears if things get a little bit scary. Looks like for Evan's forces as well, we have an ancient tree man for his lord here, who can certainly do some decent work. And I've seen you know picked relatively often in this matchup, coming in with a scroll of shielding to help against any long range damage coming in. We also have flesh to stone, earth blood, as well as awakening of the woods. So pretty good stuff. And let's get this battle underway. Interesting. Do we see a caster for the empire? Ah, here they are hiding in the trees. It looks like we do have a Jade Wizard just with Earthblood to try and keep those knights fighting a little bit longer. So this battle is a uh, loopy sent into me. It's a really good example, I think, of why woods are very uh, important for Wood Elves, both when you are Wood Elves, but also fighting against Wood Elves. And as you can see by the deployment, the Empire are actually going to be trying to lure the Wood Elves to take a battle position down here on the low ground, the other side of the trees. And uh, we'll get to why, like, kind of why in just a bit of a moment. As it looks like uh, there's already some early skirmishing going on. So the Waystalkers do unleash a few shots, trying to focus down at the Swordsman, it looks like. Probably pushing a little bit closer towards the Cannons, whose view is relatively obstructed here. However, Marcus Wolfhout has now got the Waystalker in his sights, and has taken a little bit of damage back in return. Now, Waystalkers don't trade terrible here, especially if you have two. The uh, kind of big fins come in when uh, Marcus Wolfhart does actually start using his abilities. That's when fins can get a little bit tricky here for the Empire. Looks like the Waystalker is uh, knee deep here in water, doing a few shots. We can say Marcus is powering up here and coming in with his Kamihami Ha there, doing some uh, pretty decent damage and putting that Waystalker down to about half health straight off the bat. So Marcus living the good life, but still taking a decent amount of damage in return. It really is his abilities which is helping him carry himself to a decent situation here. But the Waywatchers have pushed up and going to start unleashing some arrows into him as well. So he's going to have to start moving and darting away. He has managed to fend off a Waystalker and he's getting an Earth Blood for his troubles as well, which would tip him up pretty high into the health margin. Another Arrows of Kurnos does come in, but very quick reactions here from Loopy, managing to pull back his Hellblaster Volleygun crew so that none of the artillery pieces actually do explode. At this point, it might have been worth using the Arrows of Kurnos onto Marcus to try and perhaps finish him off. Looks like the cannons are now singing, kind of a, you know, doing a few cannonballs into these way watchers, but nothing too crazy so far. Looks like the Wood Elves really want to play this skirmish game, but realising it's not going too well, are going to have to push forward with their main contingent, as well as the cavalry over on the right-hand flank are starting to flood down from the trees. These models just look so good for the Wood Elves. I'm very excited for the new DLC. It's going to be some pretty awesome stuff. 
So cannibals are now trying to focus on the Wave Stalker, it looks like, to actually finish him off and push away that threat for good. But of course, the Ancient Tree Man is going to be kind of the target, I would expect, once he does come into view past these trees. So it looks like Knights of Blazing Sun are starting to really align, and that's what the Empire are doing overall, changing their battle formation to meet the Wood Elves, and they uh, they need to fall back with these spearmen. There's no point fighting the trees, and as you can see, that's what exactly what he's doing. He's actually trying to keep the trees between himself and the Wood Elves, which might seem like a bit of an odd choice. Wood Elves do indeed fight better in trees. So uh, he doesn't want to push into them, but at the same time, keeping Way Watchers on the other side. Yes, they're very accurate, but a few of these arrows will catch in the trees and uh, kind of you know, neuter their effectiveness at long range damage. Now, if these guys push into the trees, they do gain an accuracy buff, but the arrows do still do not go through the actual kind of trunks of the trees, so it's still kind of a bad choice for them overall. Huntsman starting to unleash a few shots as well into the Eternal Guard here, and on the other flank trying to get some shots in to the Wild Riders, which is a really good idea. These guys do have a come up with Silver Shield, so they'll be negating a little bit of that damage at least, but Empire once again falling back from the main uh, tree line. Another Arrows of Kronos goes in and unfortunately they've all kind of whiffed here. No damage done onto the actual cannon pieces. Looks like one finally goes down there from that very vengeful way stalker in the distance. Tundergaard are pushing through but they've had some consistent damage done to them by the Huntsman over the course of the battle. With the Swordsman getting a lovely counter charge slightly at a uh, high ground advantage. They should be able to chew through the Eternal Guardsman relatively effectively here and that flank is looking pretty secure. Lovely Awakening Woods does go down on the Huntsman, but it doesn't do the craziest amount of damage overall. And all the cannons are still firing at this point, as the Waywatchers finally do get into position and destroy these great cannons with deadly efficiency. But once again, kind of that entire volley went into one cannon, and uh, there's still two cannon pieces operational if these crewmen can come back. Marcus having the time of his life as well, doing some 360 no scopes here, as that poor ancient tree man has been bogged down by the swordsman, allowing these huntsmen to unleash absolute hell on him. He's taken massive amounts of damage, these guys of course do have that anti-large. Wild Riders do force themselves into the front line, trying to push through the swordsman and get into the back line, but a lovely hunter snare pins them in place and is going to allow the huntsman to do some pretty decent damage. However, Wood Elves are not out of this yet by any means. At God have managed to force themselves into the back line, getting dangerously close to shutting down this volley gun. Knights of the Blazing Sun are having to be used here as a bit of a back line protection tool. More at God have pushed through as well. A lot of the ranged troops are starting to take a bit of damage for the Empire. This great cannon also starting to go offline. Ancient Tree Man with a scroll of shielding is just about surviving. The Sisters of Fawn really need to get engaged in the battle a little bit more in my opinion. Just so I say that they uh, release a war cry and start pushing through the trees. But they are going to be really needed to get into this back line and shut down some of these troops. Now the main problem for this Wood Elf build overall is their only real answer to the Knights of the Blazing Sun are these Way Watchers. So they have to get all of their shots into them if they want any chance of winning this. Wild Riders get a lovely shield of fawns to keep them fighting so they can push off these Huntsmen. But they do go down to the sheer weight here of the Knights of the Blazing Sun. We're now going to be trotting downhill into the Sisters of Fawn, who don't really want to be taking this engagement at all. They're a little bit, you know, they're relatively tanky. I think they're actually a bit tankier than Wild Riders, but we're going to kind of charge in there, do some damage, and then fall back and get away. Spearmen have been allowed to push in on top of the Way Watchers, which is fantastic play here by the Empire's Knights of the Blazing Sun also come crashing in. Ancient Tree Man is now fighting in his element, but he's taking so much damage at this point. A lovely armor bow shot as well from Marcus, doing some pretty huge damage. You see he's uh, lining up the shot. And boom, straight into the ground, doing no damage at all. What a uh, true hero of the Empire there. It looks like the Wood Elves are pretty much spent at this point. Way Watchers are not falling back. They're kind of getting torn apart by Swordsmen here. As the uh, Way Stalkers are in there trying to protect the Ancient Tree Man, who's slowly been just dragged down by weight of number. Sisters of Fawn did a decent job up against one unit of the Knights of the Blazing Sun. Doing pretty good work before falling back into the tree line. Now, is there anything that can come back for the Wood Elves here? We do have Way Stalkers and some broken Eternal Guard, kind of, well, not actually broken, but you know, 
physically broken unit on the right hand side who could come back there. But at this point, the Empire once again resecured their back line. It looks like the victory was pretty much assured, so it is going to be a uh, bow out there from the Wood Elves. But very fun game. Massive shout out to both Evan and Loopy. And a big shout out to Loopy for sending this in via my Discord. He did also mention that Evan doesn't play Wood Elves terribly often, so he was just trying to learn them a little bit. So there may be, have been you know, one or two mistakes in there overall. So now a little breakdown of the builds. I'm actually, you know, I'm not hugely against this Wood Elf build. It certainly had some decent tools. The Ancient Treeman's there just to soak up damage overall. Waystock has got incredibly unlucky with the Arrows of Kurnos, but at the same time, because they have to loop them up over top of those trees, the uh, accuracy on them really seemed to kind of falter because of that. And also some good micromanagement as well, though, pulling the cannon crews off the cannons to you know keep them alive and healthy, which is also very good play coming in by Loopy there. And that is one of the problems of Arrows of Kurnos. Even with two Waystalkers, you cannot guarantee that you're actually going to take out artillery pieces. Apart from that, I think the use of Waywatchers need to be a little bit different, just pushing forward, kiting back the enemy and trying to deal damage to those Knights of the Blazing Sun. And whenever anyone pushes into your Waywatchers, then you hammer them home with the Sisters and the Wild Riders. And if the Knights get particularly bold, you simply fall back behind the Eternal Guard. But overall, pretty good uh, solid build, I think. As for Loopies, once again, really solid build. I'd love to see the Hellblaster Volley Gun bought here. Didn't do too much damage or anything particularly amazing, but they just wasted a lot of the time of the Waywatchers the way stalkers while the knights and the main troops managed to clear everything else up huntsman honestly not a huge amount of damage but probably the mvps helping bring down that ancient tree man and being a general pest all round anyway guys hope you did enjoy if you did feel free to give the video a big old thumbs up and feel free to subscribe for more total war warhammer content if you want to send replays into me get involved in tournaments that i host and all that good stuff feel free to join my discord there is a link in the description down below anyway guys until next time peace peace and as always stay awesome